It seems like we need to talk about clit sensitivity. Yes. I'm Can you break down like, okay, I'm a virgin. I have never touched my clit or I don't remember. I did it as a, a child. When I touch it, it doesn't feel sensitive. What does that mean? Well, it's like any other part of the body. It has to be sensitized. And they're always concerned that have they desensitized it. They haven't sensitized it in the first place. So just forget the word sensitize or desensitize. The clitoris is very delicate, and it's also very strong. It's a powerful little organ for pleasure. That's what's pleasure. so great about it. Yeah. It's the only organ that exists solely for pleasure. That's it. In the whole... In, I mean, think about that. In the whole of humanity and... and, and it, that's pretty profound. It's there simply for pleasure. So, first of all, I want young, these young girls to get out a mirror and look at their vulva. They don't even know what they're dealing with. So they're going down there and they're whacking away. I'll and then they go, I don't feel anything. Or, it hurts. Or, mm, got it. So it, you need to start with oil, some kind of massage oil, hopefully organic. And if you're using a, a water-based lube, read the label. Read what's There's it. a lot there. You don't need to use water-based for masturbation or self vulva massage. Coconut you know? oil is so available and it's... What is it? It's a... Um, uh, well, it's antifungal. Thank you. So it's actually very healthful. Yeah, for you to your use. skin loves it. We like the almond oil. You, should, you also get at the health I had a boyfriend that used to jerk off with olive oil because it was easing in there. He smelled a little bit like salad, but... <laughs> <laughs> I had... My recent client said, I really prefer olive oil, and I said, it's great. It's yeah. the best oil if you don't mind walking around with your pussy smelling like a salad. <laughs> <laughs> so... If they're doing uh, water in the bathtub, I think this last one, and then she wanted to get, you know, get going on dry land, and she was rubbing on top of her cotton panties. Ooh, rough, rough, rough. No, no lube. I mean, no oil, nothing, just dry. And the oil increases sensitivity. Yeah. Because your hand glides over it, and yes. you don't, even if you use a heavy touch, it glides. It's still, so uh, it'll still glide. It gets rid of a lot of the friction that can cause chafing. Yeah, yes. So the other thing is that when you have a little orgasm, that means all 8,000 nerve endings have fired. They've all fired up. Now, she needs a rest. A little bit. That's all. Not long. It doesn't take long. But what if they haven't recognized that it is an orgasm? Well, this is the, that's the problem, right? The, their expectations these days for an orgasm is, I think, based on either a romantic novel where you lose consciousness, <laughs> or it's the porn where the woman is acting, like you know this hysterical. <laughs> so it's a, 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 these your early orgasms are going to be little blips. I masturbated this morning before I came here, and the first one happened really fast and was like, "Whoo!" <laughs> and I was like, "All right." And then to really get there and get that, it took, a, you know, three or four. Mm -hmm. But I could see how, if I didn't know what to expect, I would think that first one wasn't an orgasm. And then I would keep on my clit and get overstimulated. And then she shuts down. Clitting. And then start using more pressure because I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> I remember one time when I called, I called my boyfriend. I said, my clit is broken. It won't work. <laughs> so it's like, it's not on demand. You have to listen to the, your body. You listen to your clitoris. She needs a rest, or you beat her too up, and uh, you know too much. Or you're leaning on furniture and something. Oh, you know too much <laughs> pressure. Please get out a mirror, and look at your vulva, and then they say that the clit is disappears. It was. It's, yeah, it retracts behind the hood to protect itself. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm out of here, far in the hole. <laughs> Oh, poor clits. They just get, they do get abused. And then the guys, they, their guys are trying to do it, bless their hearts. And when they're masturbating, they're using rapid friction. So they're and doing what's good for them, which is nice. But I feel like with clits, less is more. Because then it's going to take longer. You're going to tease yourself. And you're not going to touch your clit. And all of a sudden you feel like, whoa, a jolt. You're going to touch it and be like, oh, that feels good. And then it might tickle a little. But it's also, not like you touch it like a button and it's like the orgasmatron. Yes. <laughs> like, I'm going to have an orgasm now. The other yeah. thing is that, that they're pulling the hood back and going right on the Yeah, that's a little much. Too much, too much, too much.
light touch, gentle circles, lots of oil, squeeze your PC, yes, yes, and yeah. eventually you'll get there. Yeah. And stop, like... Demanding. <sighs> yeah. And thinking that there's something. But I think it's hard for women. We internalize everything. And everything in the culture is always, like, something that we fucked up. So we can't help but think, oh, my clit's wrong. Something's wrong. Everything's right with it. There's yeah. nothing wrong with it. And listen to your body. <laughs> listen to your body and stop demanding this little organ, this powerful little organ with 8,000. I don't know who counted the nerve endings. That's always a fascinating. But it's very sensitive and very powerful and very durable. So you haven't broken it. And it's fine. Just treat it a little more gently with a little more respect. And add some sexual fantasy. Girls, come on. You can't just do this dry humping with your mind going, I'm coming. Am I getting close? Is this it? Am I... Doesn't work. Do I look sexy? <laughs> How do I look when I come? I don't know. Yes, just treat her well and she will treat you well, okay? Be sweet to the clitty.